What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the Yu-Gi-Oh! gaming community? It's your boy, Avery, here. And, oh my god, if you thought that the Time Wizard retro formats was a huge fun announcement, this is going to blow your mind. So, if you look right here, on 12-22-2021, the regional locations were updated on Konami's website. So, check this out. North America 2022 season, Burst of Destiny, United States and Canada. You see all the Discord bullshit. Battle of Chaos 2022 season in store. Ladies and gentlemen, no fanfare from anybody. I was looking at my local Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook pages for where I live in Jacksonville, Florida, and no one has talked about it. I don't know if just nobody noticed this, but this shit got posted two days ago. Capital G, he didn't post about it. Robbie didn't post about it. I, why is this going under the radar? Regionals have been back for two days. <laughs> like, check this out. The first event of the 2022 season is going to be on 2-12-2022, and it's going to be by Core TCG, and that's going to be the San Jose Convention Center in California. So if you are in California, you are going to have the first regional of the 2022 year. And like they said, Battle of Chaos. So we will have Battle of Chaos for these regionals. We will have um, the new Flundery support card. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! is back in full force, guys. Like, this is huge news. We are finally getting back to normal Yu-Gi-Oh! And this is absolutely fantastic. Finally, I have a reason to go to locals more. I have a reason to buy cards again. I mean, yeah, I bought like a bunch of cards and I was buying some cases and things in order to get flunderies and some other cards and things like that. But guys, you are going to see the market explode if it hasn't already uh, with uh, with cards going up in price. Now, there is something interesting here that I just now noticed that I just highlighted. There is going to be a venue seating cap. So, for example, the one here in California is going to have a 500-person limit. Uh, it looks like the one here in uh, the side deck at Adventureland in Altona. Uh, I'm assuming IA would be Indiana. They're having a 300-person uh, max cap. Now, I'm most concerned about Florida. And if you look here, we've got one here in Duluth, Georgia. That's going to be 500. Texas is going to be 500. Florida is going to have a 600-person cap on the Kissimmee Regional. This is a place that I go to all the time for my regionals. 600 people, I think that that's going to be plenty. Now, what I wonder, though, is are they going to do it based upon who gets there first? Like, first come, first serve, okay, you're in the regional? Because if that is the case, I think people are going to try and get there pretty damn early, or if they do it by the registration amount. That's what will be interesting as well. Scrolling down here, is there going to be any others uh, in Florida? Feel free to pause the video in case you see a place that you want to look at. We've got one here in South Carolina. That's going to be 400 max. Uh, New Jersey, 700 people max. Uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas, 220 max people. Uh, Kentucky, 450. It uh, looks like we got one here in Detroit, Michigan from the side deck. That's going to be a 2,000 person cap. Uh, I am still continuing to look through here. It looks like for here... Uh, Florida is only going to have one in person. However, they also have remote dual locations as well, um, which look to be very few. So basically what they're going to do is have both remote duels and also regular ones going on at the same time. Uh, the dates are really hard to read here. Uh, second month of the year all the way down to what looks like the fifth month of the year. So if you live in Florida, we are getting one regional uh, on the third month of the year. Um, but yeah, guys, this is, this is some big news. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next video.